even the longest day has an end. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Vakak Wadash. My name is Lamadia, and what I want to do first is kick this off with the book of Philippians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 12. Now it reads, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as, as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So the scripture speaks on working out your own salvation because the main thing is you have to know your why. Why you why you doing this? Because we are involved in this ministry because we are looking to be found worthy when Yahweh um by Shem Yahweh Shah um bring bring judgment on this earth and Yahweh Shah along the angels come to deliver the elect. So we looking forward to be um, of that number and what's comprised of working out your own salvation is making is making an assessment because assessment is key and humility is key because we all are disposable to the most high the Lord could take that spirit away from you and put that same spirit on somebody else that which w that will appreciate it even more. So we can never take this um this gift of the truth for granted. So I read that part again. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So the key thing is with fear and trembling. That's what keep you in fear is knowing that the Lord don't, doesn't need us. The Lord said he could raise up rocks to prophesy. And the Lord said in um, the book of Corinthians that he found this as, as, as being, um, foolishness. The scripture speaks about the foolishness of teaching. Because the Lord doesn't need us, but it shows our faith. So verse 13. For it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So everything that we do is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's that's why we involved with this, to fulfill the most high good pleasure. And it says, do all things without murmuring and disputing. Because this, um, this ministry is going to be a burden to you. This is actually a labor of love. Now, verse 15. Now it says that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of the most high so that's the thing that's why we have the scriptures the scriptures give us everything we need to know on judging matters and how, how to deal with circumstances that's why it's very important to to go through the scriptures and apply what the scriptures say because the more you stay away from the scriptures the more you're not reading the more you're not watching videos the more you know you cater into the flesh that worldly spirit be be begins to grow on you and then you start being found with blame 
So it's very essential to stay involved in what the scriptures say. Now it says that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, which rebuke is correction. And it says, in the midst of crooked and perverse uh, nation. And uh, I just want to touch back on rebuke because a lot of times correction comes because the scriptures is not being implied. And a lot of times the basic scriptures get overlooked. So um, I read on, it says, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Now let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 6 <clears throat> and verse 10. And now it says, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work in labor of love. Because this is a labor of love. You have to have in your mind that you love doing this. This shouldn't be a burden. Now it says, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Because this, because you know what? Not everybody that's called is of the elect. And we don't know if we of the elect or not. As of right now, as of right now, we're just candidates. And, and you're going to have a lot of guys that are going to fall out. Then you're going to have, you're gonna have guys that get delivered. But we're looking for, we're looking for it not to be of that number that be um, destroyed. And that's another reason why we catch hell now. That's why we go through uncle uncomfortable circumstances because when you go to hell don't just be down in this accent why you you have to see the significant message behind it and you have to pray to the most high and seek the most high for more answers ask the lord why these things are coming upon you what what, what are the things that you need to improve on like the Lord is not just bringing these things upon you just to bring it upon you. So even when you go through hell, you have to see the lesson behind it. Now, verse 11, and it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. This, see that? The same diligence. So you have to be obsessed. Now it says to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So you're supposed to remain diligent all the way into the end. Or else you'll be found lukewarm. Which is mentioned in Revelation, the third chapter. Like this, this ministry is not a part time job. It's actually a full time job. This is a round the clock job. You know, the same way you conduct yourself when you're among the brothers is the same person you have to be when, when brother's not around. Because you how about Shimmy How is always watching. You don't want to be that person, you know, after camp when the garment come off, the Israelite come off with it. Or you only speak in when you at camp. You should want to always, you know, be consistent and, and constantly putting out content to edify their elect. So I'll read that again. It says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers, followers of done, who through faith and patience inherit the promise. 
So the scripture speaks about not being slothful. Now, going back to that point, you have to know your why. And you got to keep in mind, when you go through hard times, remember why, why are we going through it? You have to remain optimistic. You know, think about, you know, you got to think about this is not for eternity. And the end is drawing there. And we're going through it so that so that way we don't um, be judged with the world when, when they receive their judgment. Um, First Corinthians 4 and 9, it says, For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last. Because now we all consider apostles. The word apostles means sent out. We were sent out to teach. And it says, as it were appointed to death. So you got to have your mind. Got to have in your mind that death is a possibility. But if that's the case, so what? So be it. Because we also know that the Most High could resurrect uh, us back alive. Bring us back to life. Now it says, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. You see that? A spectacle. The word spec means to, to view. Because whatever we go, believe it or not, we're being analyzed. And something about us just stands out from the, av from the average so-called Negro or so-called Hispanic. So people are analyzing and looking at you. And you want to carry yourself um, as such, as a, as a righteous man. And that's why things happen too. Because we give off a certain spirit. And the spirit of Satan may jump on a person because they get... They, you give off that spirit of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Sha. So, so at times you got to have the, the spiritual discernment to know um, that the, uh, the spiritual presence or the demonic presence is around and have the ability to maneuver around it. So we are made a spectacle, a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Now it says... Uh, verse 10 We are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake But ye are wise in Yahweh Shah We are weak But ye are strong Ye are honorable But we are despised um, Even unto this present hour We both hunger And thirst And are naked And are buffeted And have no certain dwelling place And laboring Working with our own hands being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. So when we come to serve you, how about Shimi Hawasha? We're gonna lose a lot before we obtain. But we have to wait and be patient. Because everything we see today is all temporary. And you look you put on the current news, you see, you see the prophecies unfolding. You can see the MOTB coming, the nuclear destruction coming. So you just have to be patient. Even when things are rough, be patient. Now, uh, let me see here. Uh, Matthew 22 and 14. Now it says, For many are called, but few are chosen. Now we, we, got, a, we got a phrase we like to say is get down for your crown. That's, that's one of the reasons you want to remain consistent. 
because we want to be part of that number. Now, the second Peter three and 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Now talking about the nuclear destruction, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be in, in all holy conversation and godliness? So it's talking about what manners or what conduct, conduct we're supposed to have and what conversation we're supposed to be having. Now it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. See that? So that's the conversation you're supposed to be having. Spiritual conversations. You know, because, you know, you know, all that worldly conversation doesn't profit in nothing. We got to have spiritual conversations. Now it says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most uh, of Yahweh Shem Yahushah. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless. We, according to his promise, look for, for new heavens and new earth where in dwelling righteousness. So this is why we're doing this. And that's going to be a new day. Because this day is ending. This day of Esau's rulership. So the sun is being set on Esau and we're going to enter into a new day. Which, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven, which belongs to Yahweh Shah. But the elect is joint is with Yahweh Shah. So keep that in mind, brothers. No matter what we go through, we almost at the end. And I, I guess I'll close with this um this account with Peter. Now this is Matthew 19 and 20, 27. Um. Yeah, it says. Um. Then answered Peter and said unto him, "Behold, we have forsaken all." Because when you really read this from up above, Yahweh Shah was telling them the things that was was going to cause a person to not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Matter of fact, let's go to it. Uh. Let me see. Uh, you know what? I just go to the point. You know. Um. You know, you brothers can read down your own time, but I just summarize it. You know, we read up above. It speaks about the rich man. And then speaks about um, the eye of the needle. And um, let's go to verse 27, get to the point. Now it says, then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? So Peter got emotional. So we gave we gave everything away. For the ministry's sake. Now, it says, And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Really I say unto you, That ye which had followed me in the regenerations, When the Son of Man should sit in the throne of his glory, Ye also should sit upon twelve thrones, Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. For many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So that's what we're looking forward to. 
So with that, Lord willing, this video is edifying. And again, I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rukhaq Wadash. Shalom.